up everybody it's rev time today i wanted to talk about the secret settings or i should say not so secret settings i guess because this is my overdrive uh so nothing's a secret to me but uh just kind of i wanted to go through some settings that i tend to gravitate towards and especially having seen this pedal out in the wild we sold quite a few of them and getting to hear all these different cats play it and dial it in everything sounds so killer and, and there's a lot of different ways to approach this pedal because it's capable of so much. That was kind of the idea um, behind it. So I thought I would just kind of, you know, maybe just jump through some really quick uh, settings. Um, like I said, they're, you know, may, maybe secret to some and not so secret to others. But let's start with the way I have it dialed uh, right now. And we'll get to this uh, revival drive as well because it kind of ties into how you would kind of stack gains together. Uh, so the main thing for me is I never, I try to, when I'm demoing something like on my channel, I will always have the amp ridiculously clean and really unadorned because it kind of forces the pedal to have to do all the work so you can really hear it. But, you know, as a pro player that kind of does my thing, um, I tend to like the amp to be a little bit more uh, kind of on the edge of breakup. So in my case, I'm using my D20, and I do have it breaking up a bit. Not a ton, but it's not crazy clean. And I think most of you probably know that in general, the old distortions and, you know, overdrives, fuzz, dirt, whatever you want to call it, uh, do sound better to an amp that's got a little bit of breakup in general. Some guys don't like that at all, so I'm not saying that's a rule, but in general, it does sound better. Now, the way I have this pedal dialed is on the drive side, I've actually got the gain turned down quite a bit, but I'm keeping the volume a little bit hotter just to kind of hit the amp. <laughs> So there's not a ton of gain there. And if I play really soft, if I play really soft, it gets super clean, even with a back humbucker. But if I dig in, it'll break up with what I would consider kind of a vintage breakup, which is what I dig. Now, what I do to get more gain is I'll employ uh, the boost side of the pedal, and I'm running a good amount of boost into it. And with the Tilt EQ, I've kind of dialed up just a bigger, uh, more aggressive gain. <laughs> you know, I guess the point of dialing it this way is so that I always have some place to go. And in this case, I could easily turn up the gain if I needed more saturation. I can definitely do that, but for the most part, I like to start with less gain, so not a ton. 
Because even with the gain all the way off. I can just hit the amp a little bit harder, a little more open breakup, and then slowly start adding the gain back in. And like I said, I, I'm really going for that more kind of vintage breakup, and also, once again, wanting someplace else to go. So this is plenty for like a crunch thing. even neck position still sounds great and then like I said I've got my more over here and I'm allowing for some more low end to happen because I just want it to sound really big so I'm only cutting like half of the low end but I could use the tight switch, move to the full setting, which doesn't mean fuller, it means you're cutting more low end. Now that's a little bit clearer. When I'm playing by myself, I kind of like having that, that more kind of pillowy low end. So that's one of the, you know, I guess that would be kind of a secret setting. I, I don't see as many guys running uh, the volume of the pedal hotter just to push the amp before they start adding gain. That's that's a big one for me. And a lot of the like Nashville cats or session players, that's what they're going for. They want it to sound more open. Uh, sometimes the more compressed tones feel great, but they won't sit in a mix. In a, in a lot of cases, they won't. <laughs> So uh, that's one way to use it. Now, the other way, too, is, is you know, having some place to go by uh, stacking something along with it. So if I wanted more of a cascaded kind of gain sound, which once again is, is you know, session players especially tend to, to lean towards if they need more of a saturated so sound instead of, once again, turning up a bunch of gain and creating some compression, which nine times out of ten it will, they'll just add another overdrive either before or after. And in this case, I'm running it, this revival drive after the, uh, the tilt. So, you know, the tilt style, how I have it, not a ton of gain. If I want more of a cascading thing, I can add the, the gain from the revival. not a ton of gain on the revival drive so off so I've got it adding just a little bit of gain and I can do the same thing I can turn up maybe a little more gain if I need it with the tilt because the tilt really does not argue with pedals uh, at all with other pedals when you're doing kind of a cascading thing. So that's a cool trick and then that gives you more options too. So now you've got this tone with these two together. Or this tone with the boost. Or I guess the three together. or just the tilt. I just wanted to show you guys really quick 
just some variables and you know other ways to maybe look at how uh, you use the tilt uh, if you are if you've already got one and, and if you do let me know you know how you've been running it but also if you don't have a tilt and you've been interested in it um, this is you know really close to how I like uh, to use this pedal in this type of circumstance like I said this pedal can do so much um, if I you know if I could only have this I think I would probably be okay with the way it's dialed you know this this gain for me that's a good start in a session I might add a little more treble And then the rest of it comes from the boost side. If I needed to cut more. But it's always nice to have other options. Because that just feels different. Um, and it, it sounds more cascaded. It sounds more like a, almost like an amp channel might uh, sound. So anyways, I'm, I'm rambling. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe if you're digging the content. That really helps us out and helps us grow the channel. And, and as always, I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.